This is gonna blow your mind. Every thought you have, every breath you take, and every heartbeat is powered by molecules you can't even see. Let's break it down. Biochemistry is the study of the chemical processes and substances that occur within living organisms. In simple terms, it's how molecules like proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids interact to keep us alive and healthy. Every cell in your body is a miniature chemical factory, constantly running reactions that let you think, move, and fight off disease. For example, your brain's thoughts and your immune system's defenses, both powered by biochemistry. Biochemistry explains how enzymes speed up reactions, how energy is made and used, and how genetic information is stored and passed on. It's the foundation for understanding disease, creating treatments, and practicing modern medicine. As a med student, mastering biochemistry means learning the language of life at its most fundamental level. So don't just memorize molecules. Understand how life works, from the tiniest atom to the entire human body. Let's dive in and see how these essential concepts form the backbone of medicine. Let's start small, really, really small. Everything in the universe, including you, me, and that stethoscope you'll soon be wearing, is made of atoms. Atoms are the fundamental building blocks of matter. Think of them like individual Lego bricks. You have different types of bricks, like oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. These are the most common elements in the human body. They are incredibly tiny, yet they hold the potential to build everything. By themselves, they are just simple units. But when they start connecting, that's when the real magic of life begins to unfold. When atoms join together, they form molecules. If atoms are Lego bricks, then molecules are the small structures you build with them, like a wheel or a little window. Water, for instance, is a simple but vital molecule made of two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom, H2O. Carbon dioxide, which you exhale with every breath, is another simple molecule. These small molecules are everywhere in our bodies playing crucial roles. Water makes up about 60% of your body, acting as a solvent, a temperature regulator, and a transport medium. It's the ultimate multitasker at the molecular level. Now let's get a little more complex. In the world of biochemistry, we are especially interested in large molecules called biomolecules or macromolecules. These are the giant, intricate structures that make life possible. Imagine taking thousands of Lego bricks and building a giant, detailed model of a spaceship. That's a macromolecule. These are the molecules that form your cells, store your energy, carry your genetic information, and run all the chemical reactions that keep you alive. They are built primarily from a framework of carbon atoms, which is why we call this organic chemistry. There are four main families of these essential biomolecules, and they each have a unique job description. We have carbohydrates, which are your body's primary fuel source. Then there are lipids or fats, which store energy and form cell membranes. Proteins are the versatile workhorses, doing everything from building muscles to fighting infections. And finally, nucleic acids like DNA hold the blueprint for building and running the entire organism. Understanding these four groups is like learning the main character profiles in the epic story of human biology. First up, let's talk about carbohydrates or carbs. When you eat bread, pasta, or fruit, you are loading up on these molecules. Their main job is to provide energy fast. The simplest carbohydrates are sugars, like glucose. Think of glucose as the premium gasoline for your cells. It's the fuel that powers everything from your brain cells while you study this to your muscle cells when you run for the bus. Your body can burn glucose immediately for energy, or it can store it for later by linking many glucose molecules together to form a larger molecule called glycogen, which is kept in your liver and muscles. Next on our list are lipids, more commonly known as fats. Lipids sometimes get a bad reputation, but they are absolutely essential for your health. They are fantastic at storing energy for the long term. A gram of fat stores more than twice the energy of a gram of carbohydrate. But that's not all they do. Lipids are the main component of cell membranes, the protective outer layer of every single one of your cells. They also form hormones like estrogen and testosterone, and they help insulate your body and protect your vital organs. So fats are not the enemy. They are crucial players in keeping your body running smoothly. Then we have the superstars of the molecular world, proteins. Proteins are the most versatile macromolecules. They are like the multi-tool of the cell, with a different function for every shape. 
They are built from smaller units called amino acids, linked together in long chains that fold into complex three-dimensional structures. This shape is critical to their function. Proteins provide structure, like collagen in your skin, transport substances, like hemoglobin carrying oxygen in your blood, send signals, like insulin, and, as we'll see, speed up chemical reactions. Your muscles, your hair, your antibodies, they're all made of proteins. Finally, we have the nucleic acids. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA, or ribonucleic acid. If your body is a giant, complex building, then DNA is the master blueprint. It contains all the instructions for building and operating the entire system. Located in the nucleus of your cells, this incredible molecule carries your genetic code, the information that makes you uniquely you. RNA acts as the messenger, copying sections of the DNA blueprint and taking them to the cellular construction sites where proteins are built. Without nucleic acids, there would be no way to pass on genetic information or to build the proteins needed for life. Imagine you're trying to build a massive Lego castle, but you can only place one brick per hour. It would take forever. Now, imagine you have a team of super fast robot assistants that can assemble entire sections in seconds. That's what enzymes do for your body. Enzymes are special proteins that act as biological catalysts. A catalyst is something that speeds up a chemical reaction without being used up in the process. The chemical reactions needed to sustain life are often too slow on their own. Enzymes make them happen millions of times faster, allowing life to occur in real time. Every enzyme has a very specific job. This is because each enzyme has a uniquely shaped area called the active site. This active site is like a lock, and the molecule it works on, called the substrate, is the key. Only the correct key or substrate can fit into the lock or active site. For example, the enzyme lactase is designed specifically to break down lactose, the sugar found in milk. If you don't have enough lactase, you can't digest milk properly, leading to lactose intolerance. This specificity is crucial because it allows thousands of different reactions to happen inside a cell simultaneously without interfering with each other. Enzymes are fundamental to virtually every process in your body. They help you digest your food by breaking down large biomolecules into smaller pieces that your cells can absorb. They help you build new molecules, copy your DNA, and get energy from glucose. When you see a patient with a fever, their high temperature can be dangerous because extreme heat can change the shape of enzymes, a process called denaturing. If an enzyme loses its shape, its active site is altered and it can no longer function. This is why a high prolonged fever can be life-threatening. It shuts down the body's essential chemistry. From a medical perspective, enzymes are incredibly important. Many diseases are caused by faulty or missing enzymes. For example, phenylketonuria, or PKU, is a genetic disorder where an enzyme needed to break down an amino acid called phenylalanine is defective. This leads to a toxic buildup that can cause severe brain damage. Furthermore, many drugs work by targeting enzymes. Penicillin, for instance, works by blocking an enzyme that bacteria use to build their cell walls. By understanding enzymes, you can understand both the cause of a disease and the mechanism of its cure. Biochemistry isn't just a class, it's the key to modern medicine.